Uh, very good evening uh, to all our viewers and uh, welcome to today's edition of the agenda. My name is Taiwan Jabela, the host. Tonight we are unpacking uh, the build-up to the SWAPO elective congress that is taking place now, now in November. And uh, to help us understand all issues related thereto is uh, former Prime Minister Nasa Angola, who is uh, a party veteran and uh, an ordinary citizen uh, right now, as he likes calling himself, as well as uh, veteran journalist uh, Tilani Mangudi, to just help us uh, unpack the subject. Gentlemen, Tadeguru, thank you for making time. Thank you for having <laughs> us here. Yeah, <laughs> thank, thank you, you Mangudi. Having us here. Sure, sure wonderful. Uh, I, I think before we go into further details, uh, the uh, uh, former Prime Minister is, you, you issued, you held um, a press conference this week um, at the party headquarters, it was a group of you uh, that uh, have uh, expressed concern about the number of issues in the party. If you can give us a sense and background to that. Well, what, uh, <coughs> what has been going on is as follows. Earlier this year, some comrades came to me concerned about the state of the Swapo party so to say. Uh, <coughs> this follows the losses Swapo suffered in the polls for the presidential elections and also for the parliamentary elections and the local government. Uh, comrades were saying uh, we need somebody who can bring us together so that we can put our opinions together to see whether we can approach the, the leadership to address some of these issues. Because the divisions in the party are so obvious. And uh, perhaps some comrades uh, excised their protest vote by not going to the, to the elections, to the ballot box, or perhaps they voted for other parties or something like that. So Swapo was badly. Uh, affected by those elections. Uh, regions in the south are gone. The coast, the very important Terong region is gone. Then you have, of course, the Kunene and the Chandrajupas and, you know, then you see this, uh, the, 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 the identity politics playing out. So comrades were, were worried about that. So I listened to them and they said, fine. We, you have to put your ideas on paper so that uh, uh, I can exercise my mind. So they did so. Then uh, I told them that uh, <coughs> the best way to deal with this issue is as Africans, if an African family has got some disagreements in the family, we have to bring the elders, normally bring the elders together and the elders decide how they are going to bring their family together. So let us adopt that African tradition. Oh, they say, okay, fine. Uh, then we have to start with the founding president. I say, fine, we, we start with the founding president, we brief, brief him, then uh, the former president uh, comrade Hifike Pohamba, we did that. But we realized that uh, this comrade's age and also their health condition are not of the best. So we decided therefore to make an appointment with the, the top three of the Swapo party. And they kindly granted us that, that appointment. So we met at the state house there for almost three hours, explaining to them what we see are the problems in the party. Of course, uh, they listened very carefully. They made their initial comments and they promised to come back to us. Then we were waiting for them to come back to us. Uh, in their wisdom, they took the, the issue to the Central Committee. We set the recommendations. Central Committee is rumored to have taken certain decisions 
and we were waiting for them to inform us what was next. Then we realized that uh, uh, these comrades will not come back to us. Let us conclude this process, but we should inform the public what we have been attempting to do so that uh, there's no misunderstanding. Mm. So that's why we had the press conference. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, Mangudi, you must have uh, seen snippets of that uh, press conference, uh, the issues raised there, <laughs> and, and the concerns that are being raised here, although he did not go into the into details, but at least in terms of losing ground in some regions mm -hmm. uh, that, that we've known. Um, your impression of that? Um, you see, the, 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 uh, I think uh, uh, the former prime minister would have to agree with me that it, it didn't have to take a rocket scientist or a group within the ruling party to admit or to say that there's something wrong. <coughs> Publicly, we've all known that something is wrong. It's a pity that SWAPO in its nature has been in denial or has uh, played denialist politics. Uh, in, in my experience, let's go back to 2004. Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, Honorable Angula will be able to give us a bit more background as to whether these divisions have been that bad since before 2004. But for me, I've seen 2004 as a Swapo changing character and changing identity. And for the first time also, that's also where you started seeing identity politics coming to the fore. Uh, but the, the issue of, of, of anti-democratic behavior is perhaps the one that got me uh, in the last few, few congresses where there's been allegations of uh, people abusing power to force or push a certain candidate or uh, force other candidates down people's throats. So there, this, these divisions have been simmering. And it's, 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 we all know that the reason why SWAPO lost in, in, in 2019 and, and 2020 uh, regional local elections, and 2019 was the uh, parliamentary <coughs> and uh, national assembly and the presidential elections, not to say lost, but yeah, they lost ground, serious ground, is exactly because there has been a feeling within the ruling party itself that democracy is gone, it's dead, uh, there are party leaders who are abusing their positions, and also the issue of the elephant in the room, which is the current leadership has been accused of being there because they bribed their way. Let, let's call a spade a spade. The accusation is that the current leadership bought the leadership. They bought the Congress with, with fish rod money. It's, it's, there's no, no people are saying, we can't say that. It's therefore, the legitimacy of, 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 of that leadership is being questioned. Therefore, some people then came and said, okay, we are going to vote alternatively or we are going to stay away. So, so the question is then, uh, I can ask uh, the elder statesman here is that, where did it go wrong for SWAPO in terms of inter inter-party democracy and relationships with comrades amongst each other? Well, SWAPO, <coughs> we should understand what SWAPO is. SWAPO is a broad church mm -hmm. uh, accommodating people with different uh, ideological uh, positions. Mm -hmm. And always uh, the differences have been there like in any other family, even during the struggle. You remember 1975, when we had a serious crisis in Zambia there. I was there, uh, but in the wisdom of the leadership at the time, the SWAP, SWAPO appointed what, you, what was called the Yaoto Commission of Inquiry into the uh, grievances. Uh, the grievances basically were generational. Uh, the difference between those of us who were outside was such that uh, uh, even me who left Namibia in 65, when these comrades came 75, there was a difference of, of, uh, of 10 years almost. So uh, 
their perspectives were not quite the same as those of us who were, who were, who were there for some time. Then, of course, the enemy also had his own way of creating confusion and all that, that you cannot rule out. So the Auto Commission came up with recommendations, which led to Suapo holding a Congress in Rusaka, in a place called Nampundu in Yarusaka, in 1976, which revitalized the party, uh, came up with a new political program, with the amended constitution, which uh, took us now up to uh, 1989, when we came back. So differences have been coming, and but it's the way you deal with them. Mm. The current one, you talk about uh, 2004. 2004, we were still comrades. That we competed against each other. There were no money involved in that campaign. So when Comrade Bamba won, he, 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 he accommodated all of us those of us who, who, who didn't have too many pro problems uh, with uh, the leadership at that time. Mm. He was not vindictive, in other words. Then come 2012, uh, things started to change from there. Uh, leading to 2017, people became too much materialistic the comradeship was superficial. The individuals who could uh, be, bring people together were more vindictive than comradely. And that frustrated a lot of uh, comrades as to what should be done mm. to bring the party together. Mm. Then we, there is no ideological direction. There is no political cohesion. Uh, can, I, can I interrupt you a bit there? When yeah. you say that the comrades were superficial. Comradeship. I, comradeship. The idea of comradeship. Yeah. yeah. So, so are you saying that the ideology of some of the cadres was not that of the original party ideals? Is, is that what you are telling me? So I postulate for solidarity, justice and freedom. Okay. So that is a, is a key. That, that's why even in our most difficult times during the struggle, solidarity kept us together as comrades. We knew that I exist because we exist. Uh, so the idea of solidarity is nobody, it's materialism. Uh, the, 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 the party has degenerated simply into self-serving mm. individuals. Okay, so by materialism, uh, I'm trying to define these things deliberately. Uh, by materialism, you are saying that there are people who were in it not to serve the greater good, but to serve their stomachs and make money from Yes, from, that's from exactly what positions. is. Uh, most of the people who are, who are running for swap positions, it's not because they have an ideal to serve the, the to serve the public, it is because that's the only uh, avenue where you can get a job. Mm. It's like people used to go to, to Aranyamud, mm -hmm. uh, those days of the contract system. They yeah. go there because uh, Aranyamud, the uh, CDM was paying uh, better salaries. Mm. It's the same, there's no ideal that I am here to serve society, not to serve myself. Yeah. There's nothing like that. That's why corruption also crept in, because people started to compete for material benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is what corrupted Swapo. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I, I understand. Um, <coughs> and um, I mean, I, I have to go back to the prime, former prime minister again. So I, I, all this evolution in the party's identity must have been long time coming. It's not something that just happened ab abruptly. And um, you know that there's always this feeling in Swapa that those of you that are no longer in the structures, that you have this newfound 
bravery and, and energy to speak out against certain things when perhaps the, de the degeneration of the party actually started with your generation of leaders? Not really. Not, uh, the, uh, there's no bravery, yeah. Uh, some of us are just speaking out because we think SWAPO is the only organization in Namibia which can really advance the interest of the poor, the interest of the unemployed, the interest of people living in shacks, because of its origin. SWAPO was founded in a, in a compound, workers' compound, contract workers' compound. It is that origin uh, that uh, we, we owe it to the contract workers and the, uh, by extension to, 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 to those who, who are somehow excluded. But now SWAPO has become an elite organization. Mm. It's an organization of the elites. If you go to a, a public area of SWAPO somewhere, there might be more cars than people. <laughs> there. Because the organization has been captured by, by, by the elites. Mm -hmm. And the people are now, it's conspicuous consumption. I see uh, Community Javera driving a BMW. Then I, I start looking around how do I get money to, to compete with him? Uh, that's why corruption ca came in. Yeah. So uh, uh, it is not a question of being uh, critical or being bravery or anything like that. As you know, that. Uh, some of us continue to serve, uh, to do our civic duty. Mm. I'm running an organization called uh, uh, Community Skills Development Foundation, yeah. which is training young people, taking young people out of the street to give them skills. Uh, I don't know who, uh, who any other person is doing that. I'm doing that freely. Uh, I'm not benefiting anything, but I owe something to the community. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's let's go back to. Uh, addressing issues internally and fixing things. Um, by 20, 2004, 2005 and 2006, you were one of the people who I understand stood up in, in a central committee meeting and defended a motion or pleaded with your colleagues to not expel uh, Nyamu. Um, and I understand when you did that, you, you did it because to say it does not serve the party to go after people. At least let's try and rehabilitate. I think you, you, you became unpopular and uh, that is one of the opinions I think that made you unpopular within the party. But my issue is really that was there a culture of people actually standing up for principle within the party structure, especially when it comes to... Uh, um, the, the, the issues of uh, discussing unity and wrongdoing. To say, I'm defending this position because I feel this is wrong. It's not as a matter of principle. It's wrong, let's try alternative. The other issue is, uh, I think I'll just expand on, on, on my colleague Toivo's uh, question that about people who are now speaking out when they are outside. My disappointment has always been that with people with leadership positions in SWAPO, when something happens, a scandal happens, it's very rare that you find them standing up and saying, look, I think this is not part of SWAPO character. Can the comrade explain? The, there's an allegation of A, B, C, and D. The comrade should explain or be at least suspended. There's, that culture is not there. We don't see it. We don't hear about it, that comrade who who Nas Angula stood up and said, look, uh, this issue of uh, AVED or this issue of fish rot, we want it done. But the moment the person is outside of those party structures, then all of a sudden they speak about it. So this is where the criticism comes that, that that's where the perception has been formed that it, people only become brave when they're outside of the party structures. And I think that's where, that's the question I want to ask. Is it true that there's a culture of not speaking up when something wrong is happening within the party? especially by those within the party. I think that is a, a completely mis mis misunderstanding of how organizations work. If you are part of the organization, you have an opportunity to use the structures of organization to express yourself. 
It might not come out in the public, but we have been doing that. When Nyamo was expelled, uh, obviously, of course, he, 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 he violated certain party principles with his uh, 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 notes. notes. <laughs> But he was supposed to be brought before some kind of a disciplinary committee and say, explain yourself. Mm. It's either you withdraw those votes, uh, those, those notes, or you leave the party because you, you, you don't believe in the collective leadership, uh, and so on. It happened also to uh, Ngurai and them the other time. Mm. I stood up in the central committee and said that, hey, look, you should follow due process. Because I believe in justice, I believe in, uh, in fairness, to treat other people fairly. That's why I'm in, in trouble when I'm speaking for, for community jury. Yeah. Uh, that is what I believe in. And I have no any other uh, structure to go and say so, because I'm outside the structures. Uh, I'll just say it as a citizen. Mm. Uh, that's it. But. Uh, if you follow the history of Swapo, the, you know, uh, I, 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 I alluded to what happened in Osaka in 1975. Eventually, those young people, many of them were rehabilitated and they, and they came back to Swapo. Some of them became uh, senior commanders in the, in the, in the, in the, the Namibia Defense Force and all that kind of thing. Swapo had that culture of, well, human era. So, sorry, for the record, the 75 mm -hmm. incident, you are referring to the so-called uh, Shipanga Rebellion. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Just, uh, yeah. No, no. I think, I think the context is clear. We, we go for a small break and return. related or advertising queries, contact irongotalk at synergy.com.na. Iranga Talk, our community, your news. A single step. decision to open the door, to see what's out there, <laughs> to see what's inside you, what the world has to offer, what you can give, what you're made of as you dream about what you can make. You will build and you will fall, but each day you will be wiser, stronger, and above the rest, you will soar. And one day, even as you keep moving forward, you'll pause to take a look back. You'll reflect on all you've learned, on all you've seen and everything you have done. And you'll be grateful you took that first, single step on a journey of discovery at the Northwest University. The conversation continues on the agenda with uh, Tilani Monguzi and Nahas Angula. Now, Uncle Nahas, um, you alluded to something that I wanted us to actually now start discussing, which is now the Swapo Congress. And um, you spoke about how your views that uh, Jerry Kanjo must be treated fairly have uh, landed you in some sort of trouble. We have seen statements being issued by uh, State House, which I didn't understand, to be honest, because I didn't understand what uh, uh, a 
Alfredo Hengari was trying to say in that statement because you said that President Hage Gengok must listen to the jury concern. And President Hage Gengok did exactly that by convening a central committee meeting on Friday. I mean, w what does it say? Is it again the vilification of people that, for example, I mean, th this, there's a fallout of some sort between yourself and, and some of the comrades after the 2017 Congress. But I is that part of why you are being treated that way? Well, uh, they have their right to defend themselves. Everybody has a right to defend himself. My position is simply this. If you did me a favor yesterday, perhaps you bought me a punya punya or whatever, and today you do something bad, that punya punya you bought for me yesterday does not absolve you <laughs> <laughs> from, uh, from being fair yeah. today also. Mm. I'm not saying uh, you should repeat uh, buying me punya punya or whatever. Uh, uh, that, uh, that's not uh, what I'm simply saying is that uh, the common jury's issue, yes, it's uh, legal, but it's not purely just legal, mm -hmm. it's political. Perception out there, perception out there in the public feel that uh, common jury deserves to be to be had yeah. and uh, perhaps to be given a chance to advance his political ambitions uh, uh, and so on mm. yeah, but at least he deserves to be had yeah. uh, by the party because the way the central committee handled this uh, these elections was also questionable Comrade Kawana has been arguing that the Helmut Amendment uh, go parallel with the transitional uh, arrangements. Perhaps it is so, but the, the transitional arrangement were protecting the interest of those who were in the Central Committee yeah. before. Not just somebody who come from outside and you, 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 you get a, a, a privilege which was not meant for you. Yeah. So at the start when the, 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 these uh, elections took place, something was wrong there. Okay, that has happened. Commander Kapofi decided that uh, perhaps it's not worth it. So he withdrew. But the point is that there was no kind of a ceiling that you had to receive some, some percentage of the votes for you to be able to, to, to be, be included. Yeah. Mm. In the, there's nothing like that. Mm. So, Jerry said, yes, uh, uh, you mistreated me there, you, you extended the privilege to people who, who were not entitled to that privilege. Now, since one of them had dropped out, let me replace that one. I think it's a fair demand, but uh, they, they are there, the Central Committee, they have to deal with it. Mm. Uh, I'm only saying that uh, justice should be seen to be, to be done. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Tilani, the, um, uh, moving away from the jury issue, what has been your impression so far of the, of the build-up to the Congress? <coughs> I'm asking this question because someone told me that these campaigns, as much as there are new rules now that are supposed to keep the party intact, are actually more vicious than even 2017. I think uh, I'm almost inclined to say leopard doesn't change its, its spots. <laughs> yeah. Um, my, my history is, let me start with covering Swapo uh, political uh, Pro events and, and so forth, yeah. um, uh, starting in 2004. Uh, what I've seen is that there is a very heartless, vicious animal within Swapo, which creeps out 
when, whenever there are contests. And, and part of that animal is the so-called, or the, the not so-called, the hypocrisy in terms of leadership. And by that, I'm going to say this, that from, say, 2004 up to now, there's always been complaints about how the person who's in charge of the party circumvented the rules to favor Nahas or to favor Toivo, you know. There were always those things. And, and, and today, uh, Uncle Nas is here talking about how Chere uh, uh, Kanjo was mis ill treated and again the rules were you know conveniently applied or enforced to favor specific people mm. now now my biggest concern has always been that swapo the, the dishonesty within the ruling party's leadership structures is such that you we go back to 2002 even there was an animal called Ananias Nifitikeko. Then uh, 2004 came, then the, 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 the leadership of the party was split. You had the uh, uh, so-called Omsati clique and so-called Ohangwena clique. And then it again, tribal issues were being made and the fights became tribal. It pit neighbors against neighbors, you know, the ordinary people hating each other for no good reason, just because uh, 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 at the time, perhaps Nahas and 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 Hidipo uh, uh, um, or you know, Bohamba did not see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Then you you get that issue where people were accusing each other of vile things, uh, called each other vile things. They name calling, mudslinging, but no evidence was brought forward. We, we just had a situation where people are, people's names are just being identified. Some people's bedroom issues were being brought to the fore. And it became worse in 2017 with, it seems, the current leadership employing mercenaries, so to call them. Mm. And they call themselves the Swapo Party Defense League. Yeah. And these people, they specialize in going onto social media, and creating all sorts of dirty stories about other people just to discredit the character of the people. Mm. Now, I'm saying through that history, if the people in the leadership could not have the, 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 the guts and the frame of mind to stand up and say, comrades, this is a problem. Yeah. Because some of them today are crying foul that yes, they are being targeted by the other camps, uh, uh, shenanigans and so on. Mm. But my question is, where were you? <laughs> Not to say that you were going to be in Nas's corner mm. when he was being vilified, mm. but to say, guys, this is wrong. Mm. Can we change this? And can we please put these people who are attacking Nas, to call them to order? Because if there's a problem, Nas must face the leadership. Yeah. The things must be formalized. Here's a, a complaint against him. It's documented. Then he faces the leadership. Now, people did not say that. They kept quiet they, because it was convenient at the time. They are not the ones on the receiving end. Now they are being attacked and now they want to cry foul yeah. to the point where they are even accusing journalists of all sorts of things. Being paid. Put, uh, being paid and <laughs> he's in this camp <laughs> and that camp because he's not defending me or whatever. Mm. So I'm saying this is a disease that has been in Swapo for a very long time. And if Swapo and its leadership cannot be honest and say, can we deal with this mudslinging and this character assassination issues? And those party leaders found to be wanting and found guilty of this should be dealt with because it's destroying the party. Mm. I, I think uh, uh, Uncle Nas can yeah. maybe... Yeah, your, your, your impression so far, Uncle? Well, uh, underlying all these things is actually the economic motivation. Uh, people think that if I support this candidate and this candidate wins, I will have a position somewhere mm. or I will have access to tenders or similar things, self-enrichment kind of schemes. So people go out, uh, you have uh, strange now uh, names like uh, foot soldiers. Uh, in Swapo, used to call each other cadres. It's a cadre of the party. 
we never had a thing called foot soldiers. That was a f formulation of Kufut and others. So these are people who are clearly being <laughs> induced, yeah. giving some material benefit, not because they believed in your, in your philosophy or in your political position, yeah. but because they are, they, 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 they are benefiting. Mm. And they hope that if you win, they will bene continue to benefit. Yeah. It's really the material inducement which is uh, bringing this uh, uh, faceless people yeah. who attack people there on the social media. And of course, social media is also a loose platform. A person can name himself for crocodile and start insulting you. <laughs> and you don't know <laughs> who is this crocodile. <laughs> or something. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, the or at least he, he used to print something. Yeah. If you carefully follow, you might decide that this printing was done with this uh, type of uh, typewriter or whatever. Mm -hmm. Perhaps try to discover where, who is possessing this type of typewriters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now with social media, it's just somebody there. Yeah. Uh, somebody X, somebody Balcom X, <laughs> or whoever, yeah. uh, start attacking you. Yeah. So, uh, but the the fundamental thing, the the divisions which you have in the country, are economic divisions. Yeah. People use all sort of things. Uh, somebody will say, "I'm landless," uh, just to 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 to, uh, to attract the attention of the landless, or I'm homeless, mm. uh, and they use the homeless people as a ladder. To, to get into parliament and get a salary there. Yeah. Uh, so it is also what is happening uh, internally in Swapo. Mm. If you follow these uh, uh, social media postings, yeah. it's basically people who are trying to align themselves with potential candidates uh, in the hope that in the future uh, they will. But if your candidate does not win, you might even suffer more marginalization <laughs> economically <laughs> if you are not careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I ask, I, I want to go into the issue of, uh, uh, you said KDAS and, and, and the, the, the... Food soldier. Food so no, no, no I'm, I'm talking about the KDAS now. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about how SWAPO allows people to come into leadership position. Because I think you alluded to the fact that of late, you no longer have people who, are, who, who, who have the parties or the masses interest at heart. You, you no longer, it's a, type, it's a different type of KDAS. If there's a new type of Kedah who's in the position only to advance themselves economically. Now, this speaks to also the rules in terms of who qualifies to run for office and who does not. There's been a lot of controversies around the party, the party rules in terms of qualifying people to, to run for office, whether it's central committee, whether it's uh, wings, uh, leadership. And, and there's this so-called um, vetting committees within the party which seems to be only made up by whoever is a secretary general or whoever is a president and those rules there are no fixed rules to say if Nas did not meet this criteria therefore he must not come in then they say then tomorrow you find that the rules are saying no you must have been in this position for five years but because now Nas is a favorite of, uh, of, 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 of Toivo who's the SG all of a sudden, then the SG says, no, NAS must just qualify. Mm -hmm. So how, how, what happened there and how can that be solved in terms of the, the party internal mechanisms? Because it seems the party right now is being run at the behest of whoever is in charge and how they feel. There are no rules, it seems, or the rules are not uniform and, and, and they are not applied. Once you have a political party which does not have a political vision, that party is likely to be infiltrated by anybody because there is no glue which binds you together that you have these ideals you want to achieve as a political party. So people come in, uh, those who are looking for jobs, those who are looking for tenders, and the, as long as he's supporting me, fine. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the, this person says. Look at the composition of the Swapo parliament team now, just look at them. 
you, we have too many issues in this country. Why don't you take up the issue of malnutrition and be your, your flagship in the parliament? Why don't you take up the issue of uh, youth unemployment? Why don't you take up the issue of, uh, of, uh, of housing? People are just sitting there reading uh, the, 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 the social media. Then uh, the, the, the uh, opposition is riding the, yeah. the wave. Mm -hmm. And you are the majority there. What's this? It's because the kind of the quality, the kind of uh, people we put there, yeah. we're not put there because of any criteria or any competence. It's simply because we put on the Swapo color garment, you know how to sing, and you know how to ingratiate leaders. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's the criteria. Exactly. Then what's, who suffers? It's yeah. the public. Yeah. Who exercises their, who invested their, their, their vote in Swapo party. Mm -hmm. But Swapo Party puts people who cannot defend the public interest. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I get it. In fact, uh, President Hagegengob had to complain uh, a year or two ago that uh, the Swapo MPs were, were actually trailing the opposition in terms of ideas, the battle of ideas. Uh, it, was, it was so embarrassing. But are, are these not his MPs? <laughs> are these not the people he campaigned for? I mean, uh, 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 I, I cannot defend President Gaingob when it comes to uh, post-2017 uh, Swapo Party leaderships. Because as far as I remember, he stood up in the Central Committee and even at the, at the, uh, and publicly said that these are the people I want to work with. And if you look at it, it seems even at the Electoral College, um, the people, the majority of the people on the party list are those who were seen to be in his camp. Those are the people he wanted to work with. So why are they not carrying out his vision, if he has a vision? Why are they not implementing the party uh, um, manifesto, mm. which he also presided over? So there's a lot of contradiction here. And, 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 and the president must bring us into his confidence and tell us that uh, what he feels, either he failed or the people he thought could, 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 could implement failed him. Failed him. Mm. And then we look at it differently because you cannot tell me that I only want to work with NAS and then when NAS is not implementing and not coming to the party, then I'm now complaining publicly that, yeah, that Nas, I, I brought him here, he's not doing anything. <laughs> just allowing Toivo to, to attack me. <laughs> I hear you. We have to go for a quick break again and return. AgriMonitor is your weeklijkse landbouwkundige program wat jou die jongste nies in die landbouwverwante bedrijf en onderwerpe wat daar aan gekoppel is brand. Vir enige advertentie of niesverwante navra Contact agrimonitor at synergy.com.na Flex is your health and fitness show that focuses on the health of the mind, body and spirit. If you would like to feature your brand or campaign on this platform, contact zone at synergy.com.na I studied medicine. I studied geology. I studied the Bachelor of Science. You start to heal people, touch patients, you touch lives, you save lives, you realize this is really what you want to do and you never get tired. Having graduated from the University of Namibia, I was able to open my own law firm and help people attend to their legal problems. Let's do the things that must be done and make it great. If you want to do it, just do it. That's what I wanted to do. So the sky is the limit. My unum, my pride.
we have entered uh, the last part of the show. Um, uh, former Prime Minister, the we have one of the things that we've seen in these campaigns so far, uh, med the media headlines about you know there was a, a news a news article about Robert Kanjo the f new era on Friday had uh, Armas and Kui being probed on fish rod. The Prime Minister gets always dragged into the farm issue that that she and her husband sold. Netumon and Indaitwa gets dragged into the fact that uh, she's a product of a very uh, controversial um, Congress of 2017 that uh, was funded with fish rot money. And I, I, I sit here and ask myself, is there actually any credible people left in Swabo? How can we as a nation be presented with people that uh, seemingly, if the credibility of those allegations is there, all of them are so, so somehow, somehow tainted. Well, that is the perception in the public out there that uh, if you are associated with somebody who's uh, suspected of uh, wrongdoing or something like that, people perceive you to be part of it uh, uh, and all that. Mm. The unfortunate about this is this that uh, whoever emerges and they uh, will be present to the public 2024. Uh, this person is going to have an uphill battle, especially uh, the, the, the fact that uh, uh, the way they are presenting themselves, it is all manicured smiles, it's uh, optics. Some of them are there seen as if they are just of a kings seeking God's uh, intervention or something like that. And nothing is saying anything about the bread and butter issues mm -hmm. of the country. Perhaps uh, they are trying to avoid that they don't want to put a, a blame to the government of which they are party. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, as we are facing 224, eventually somebody has to say something. And that is where uh, the, 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 the campaign will become uh, vicious. No? Yeah, vicious. Mm. Because uh, we, you will now, now say, I was not part of a uh, fish rod. But you know that your, your victory was funded by fish rod. Who was part of it? Mm. If we were not part of it. Uh, uh, and all that. So the opposition there, I'm quite sure they are, they are smiling. It, it is unfortunate. Uh, that uh, uh, we as a liberation movement are faced with this kind of uh, of, a, of a situation. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that if we were party of a slate, even if we were not aware how that slate won, if the slate won because of certain public resources which were used to induce people, you are just equally guilty. Mm. So you cannot tell me that this one uh, is the one who benefited from fish rot and this one didn't benefit. After all, some of them are going to be state witnesses. Mm. You cannot predict what will happen in a court when the lawyers start to question you. Absolutely. Yeah, you cannot predict what will happen there if this case ever comes into the court. Mm. Uh, the, most of them are, are state witnesses. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mawudi, the we saw the um, the decision by President Hage Genkob not to endorse anyone. Is it, in your reading, a principled decision for a man who wants to be a father to all, or was it purely on political convenience? <laughs> okay. Um, you see, you 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 have to follow. Uh, history mm. and, uh, and and leaders you have to follow their track record before you can make such a judgment um, I would like to think that maybe uh, the angel in uh, President Gengob prevailed mm. uh, and found that okay these things of uh, 
camps and splitting people, did not work, it's not working. And maybe he wants to come live a proper legacy of bringing about democracy and, and impartiality in the party and allowing the best candidate to win without any sort of um, assistance and, 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 and interventions with the, with the uh, what do you call it, the third forces of uh, state machinery and all of these other unseen issues Ent and mm. things. Mm. Uh, so that's, that's the hope. But I, I, I'm following back, tracking back, if, 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 if uh, it's common cause, the, the, the some of us have written about it, that uh, the same president had promised others positions yeah. um, in the past, and then he withdrew that support at the last minute to go with someone else. Um, and also now, we <coughs> were hearing that there were clandestine meetings at his house to endorse a certain candidate or to say, no, I think we must support this candidate. So the fact that it's not, it's, it's, it's not um, public <laughs> does not mean that, uh, uh, because the one thing that Swapo is very bad at is actually keeping secrets. <laughs> that's, that's the one so thing. It's a mass movement. Yeah. <laughs> so you hear these things creeping out there that no, the president is actually supporting uh, this one or the president is also supporting that one or the president said no this one must also come mm. so I still feel that it's political convenience yeah. unless proven otherwise that uh, maybe uh, something else uh, prevailed in there but the way I'm seeing it is there's a game the president is holding his cards close to his chest uh, he's probably made certain calculations and certain uh, observations and therefore he, he probably is playing it safe and he doesn't want to make a radical decision. Either that, or it could also be that um, he's doing it because he doesn't have faith in any of the current uh, candidates. Mm. Yeah. Uh, your reading, Uncle, of, of this situation, because again, you can't just leave these things to the whims of whoever is in charge of the party. That, okay, in 20, 2022, there was no such endorsement. Then 2027, again, whoever is the leader of the party or, or then they endorse who they who they want should there be a clear cut uh, in black and white position in the party to say an incumbent may not endorse anyone or is it a democratic right also for the incumbent to say look uh, I, i'm also a party member if i like uh, toivo i'll go for toivo uh, and you're, read, you're reading in this in the in Hage's decision not to endorse anyone well, <coughs> I think this is a, a good favor to the candidates. Because if you're a candidate and you stood by yourself, your ideals, your, your vision of the future, and you win, you owe nobody anything. Yeah. You are by yourself. You make your own independent decisions. You don't uh, look back and say that, oh, after all, I was put here by somebody else. So you are free. So uh, uh, I think it's the candidates who should thank the president. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, the idea of endorsement is actually a, a, a feudal idea. Uh, as you said earlier, why should you want to treat your, your children differently? Uh, treat them equal. And uh, uh, let them find their, their way on the ground. You tumble here, you do what, stand up, start running, become strong, mm -hmm. and all that. So, and also the fact that uh, earlier uh, the president gave the impression that he only wants to work with certain people. Mm -hmm. that, that's not good for a mass movement. Uh, progress in nature comes around because when you try to solve contradictions, somebody will come up with a good idea in the process of uh, debate and all that. But if everybody's just nodding ahead, there will not be any progress. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, Mangudi, again, uh, let me paint a scenario for you here. You guys at the Namibian reported that there's some sort of discord between the president and the secretary general. 
And the rest of us in the media have reported that uh, there was some silent fallout between the president and his vice president in the party. And for me, when I see that uh, President Genkov did not endorse Netuman and Indaitwa, as has been the so-called tradition in the party, that perhaps it affirms those rumors that there, there's been some fallout of some sort. If Netumba and Indaipa wins the vice presidency and Sophia Shaniwa wins the secretary general's position, how are they going to work with Hage Genko as president of the party? Well, <laughs> you, you don't need to be friends to, to work with... Uh, you know, these with people each other. Uh, with each other. Mm. I think uh, uh, President uh, Pohamba and uh, President Yoma have proven that. They've worked with uh, people they were who were considered their adversaries uh, mm. within the party structures and within government structures as well. So, so and, and, and I think they managed that fallout differently. Mm. Uh, I'm not going to say they, 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 they treated it better than the current president. But I just say they, they, they managed it differently from the current president. Now, you, 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 when, when, when you publicly declare that I want to work with Toivo at the expense of Nas, and then all of a sudden I'm no longer interested in Toivo, it, it says two things. Either there was a serious fallout after the decision to, uh, or to endorse you, or my decision to endorse you was not genuine. Yeah. It, 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 it again came from political maneuvering and horse trading, as opposed to actually me believing that I think Toivo can lead mm. and Toivo is the man for the future yeah. after me. So, so that's where it is, because at the end of the day, it, 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 it was, we all wrote about it, that there was horse trading, decisions were made, compromises were made. Now, the other issue is also that the fallout, again, with especially with the uh, Secretary General, who is the chief administrator of the party and in charge of the party structures and so on, with the president, also speaks to a silent issue, which is, it seems their the, the, um, interests are no longer aligned. Mm -hmm. So the only reason why you have a fallout like that is because the president probably feels the secretary general is not acting in either in the party ideals or in his own ideals. Yeah. Or the secretary general feels that, no, the president is varying from the, 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 the party structures yeah. and, and, and rules and norms. So you need to now find what went wrong. Yeah. And, and the way things are going at Congress, means speaks to a fallout where the president is not prepared to support the team yeah. that he said he only wants to work with <laughs> yeah. in 2017. <laughs> Indeed. I have, and to I have to stop you there, Mabudi. I think okay. that you've made a very brilliant point there. Uh, gentlemen, it has been a pleasure having you on the platform. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toivo. Yes. That was uh, tonight's show. Thank you for watching.